Greetings students of the force and welcome back to today's video where today we will be re-exploring the question of Yoda and why Palpatine and Vader were unable to find him following the events of the Jedi Purge and discover the sole moment where they did actually locate Yoda, at least the Empire as a whole did, and ultimately why it bore no fruit and why they were unable to hunt him down. Jedi Grandmaster Yoda had escaped from not only Order 66 but from the eyes of Palpatine himself after their duel on Coruscant, after which Yoda went into hiding deep into the outer rim of the world of Dagobah, where he would live out the rest of his days in solitude. We have covered before why the Empire never put forth a lot of effort into finding Yoda beyond a small hint of curiosity, with Sidious believing that the Jedi Master was now obsolete. Even of the greatest Jedi, the planet Dagobah though was very rich in the Force, which Yoda used to his advantage, using the planet around him to mask his signature from Sidious and the Empire overall. Beyond the Force though, the planet was teeming with life, which also worked in Yoda's advantage, messing with most sensors on large Imperial vessels. So it isn't hard to see how Yoda would have evaded the Empire for this long, nearly two decades. However, there was a time when the Empire came dangerously close to finding Yoda on complete accident, and it was only due to their negligence did they not uncover the hiding place of the Jedi Master. And today, we will explore the moment where Yoda became dangerously close to being discovered, and ultimately why this never came to pass, as this most definitely would have changed the entirety of Star Wars lore, the training of Luke, and far far more. Our story comes from the Legends comic in Star Wars Tales, The Hidden, so sit back and grab a snack and enjoy our story. We open in the comic on an introduction reminiscent of the beginning of Empire Strikes Back, with an Imperial Star Destroyer floating through space, when all of the sudden, several probe droid pods are jettisoned from the ship. From this introduction, we can most likely place these events happening around the time of the Empire Strikes Back due to the Empire still trying to locate the rebel hidden base. Anyway, one of the probe droids lands in the swamps of Dagobah, where it begins to float around and collect data on the world. A small animal attacks the machine, but the probe droid responds by simply blasting the creature off of its armor. Around this time, the probe droid actually happens upon Yoda and his hut, where the Jedi Grandmaster actually physically sees the droid and simply walks away from it. The droid actually follows Master Yoda, getting a read on it before the Jedi suddenly turns around and reaches his small hand forward. Behind the droid, we see a rock and a lightsaber placed gently upon it, when the lightsaber suddenly ignites and flies towards the droid. The droid though, unfortunately for Yoda, actually sees the lightsaber and is able to compute it, sending a message to the larger empire. For all intents and purposes, this should have been the discovery of Yoda. The lightsaber returns to the hand of the Great Warrior right as it retracts. Back on the Star Destroyer, the commander quickly reports to the Admiral that they received a transmission from a probe droid on a priority channel before it was ultimately destroyed shortly thereafter. The commander shows the Admiral a video feed, saying that the atmosphere of Dagobah system has interfered with the transmissions before and it may be unclear, but he points out something interesting, a distorted picture of a lightsaber blade that the probe droid managed to catch and send back successfully. Unfortunately though, on the video, it is too corrupted to make out and explain exactly what this truly was, with the Admiral uncertain if this is really a lightsaber or simply a mistake. The Admiral ultimately shockingly dismisses the video outright, claiming it to be lightning on the planet and nothing more. The commander though questioned him, asking if they should at least send a team down in order to investigate the planet and search for a Jedi. The Admiral though sharply turns and tells him to keep this event to himself and erase the data before Lord Vader arrives, as the group was to be evaluated by the Sith Lord shortly. The Admiral goes on to say that there was no use in upsetting Lord Vader with the news of another lost probe droid. Fearing the wrath of the Dark Lord, he then says that he highly doubts that the rebels were hiding out on a world as inhospitable as that of Dagobah, not to mention that no Jedi had been spotted for nearly several years, and that nearly all of the Jedi had been hunted down and killed by Lord Vader directly, believing that any false report of a Jedi to Lord Vader would carry heavy consequences. The comic though ends with Yoda laughing to himself while stirring a pot of stew with one of the probe droid's arms. This comic is absolutely incredible as it shows us a narrow what if scenario where Yoda was within a hair's reach of being found by the Empire and more specifically Lord Vader directly. 
Had they decided to take it a little more seriously, the crew of the Star Destroyer would have found something very intriguing on the planet. We know that Dagobah was selected by Yoda because it held very little to no intelligent life at all, so it makes sense why the Admiral would want to dissuade any search party from going down there needlessly, especially after they were going to have an evaluation immediately following. Not to mention that the Emperor Palpatine had actually dissuaded Vader from hunting down Yoda, as he believed, even though the Grand Master of the Jedi Jedi Order was still out there, that the Jedi were no threat, including their greatest member. What I find strange though, is the hasty negligence of the Admiral. Upon seeing the distorted image, he was quick to shut it down as anything of note. But not only this, he also ordered the data to be erased completely and never to be spoken of. In our opinion, we find this behavior highly suspicious, and we believe that there was perhaps something more going on here. Perhaps the Admiral knew a lightsaber when he saw it, and perhaps he had orders from the Emperor not to tell Vader of any more Jedi. Because we know it took Sidious a long time to get Vader to forget about hunting the Jedi and focus more on constructing the Empire in the image of the Sith. But of course, we have seen negligence from the Imperials before. In The Empire Strikes Back, the probe droid finds the shield generator on Hoth and the Admiral was quick to suggest that it was nothing more than a smuggler using Hoth as a outpost. However, here Vader silenced him and knew immediately that the shield generator meant that the rebels were hiding out in that system. Had Vader been on board this ship when they encountered this strange occurrence, I believe a similar situation would have happened and Vader may have sensed Yoda. Ultimately venturing down to the planet with a group of stormtroopers and confronting the Jedi Grand Master. This goes to show just how close this single time Yoda came from being captured, or at least being located by Vader in the Empire. This is significant as again this is basically the only time that the Empire ever detected Yoda and his presence on Dagobah, and it would have resulted in a massive duel between Vader and Yoda on the swampy world. So what if Vader had? Do you think he would go down there himself, lightsaber in hand, in order to destroy the Jedi, only to find himself surprised with the face of the Jedi Grandmaster? Would there have been a duel to conclude the Sith versus the Jedi? Also, what are your thoughts on Yoda's very, very close call? Not to mention the fact that he even saw fit to use his lightsaber in this scenario. As always, my friends, we would love to hear your thoughts and opinions on this in the comments down below. As always, may the Force be with you, and I hope that you have a great day.